In this week's episode, we talk about what I've been doing all month. <laughs> I list my top five dusty things, and I ask one more time for some input. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Well, I didn't intend to take the entire month of March off. Just sort of worked out that way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, hopefully I can get back into the swing of things and get this podcast back to its regular schedule. While I was gone, though, I took the opportunity to do some spring cleaning. I set off on the task of cleaning up the house, the yard, the office, and the Blog Oklahoma websites. The semi-annual Blog Oklahoma web ring cleanup is something <laughs> that really needs to be done regularly, but I just keep putting it off. Again, sorry about that. <laughs> it's quite time-consuming to visit each and every blog we have listed, so I started one Wednesday to check on all 912 blogs we had registered, and I finished late that Friday afternoon. I only flagged the records in the database as unlisted instead of deleting them outright. So if you think your blog was removed in error, please just let me know. I can easily relist it. What I did was unlist any blog that was missing. You know, they're just not there anymore. Any blog that redirected me to another website that wasn't a blog. Oh, sorry. I just hate that. I do. Don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> Um, any blog that was set to private, sorry, you're just not a public blog anymore, kind of defeats the purpose of having a web ring, so I unlisted you. Um, any blog that was ended by a publisher some time ago, so, uh, you know, they're no longer active, so I went ahead and removed them. Or any blog that had been taken over by spammers or tried to publish malware. I'm sad to say there were two blogs that had been hijacked for malicious intent. Luckily, I had my shields up and wasn't affected by them. I hope none of you were either. I quickly got those out of the list. Um, three other blogs were taken over by Chinese spammers. No, that's not a euphemism. <laughs> These sites were in full or partially in Chinese advertising things. All the other blogs that were unlisted uh, fell into the categories I mentioned before. Um, most were just not there anymore. It's sad to see so many blogs just fade away, but, you know, these things happen. The blogs that are now listed in the Blog Oklahoma web ring are ready for you to go read. Many of them just posted, so please go check them out. If you come across a blog that is uh, missing or something is wrong with it, you know, like Chinese spammers, please let me know. Um, I have a new big red button on the bottom of the blog's web ring listing page to help you report it. So, what's the new Blog Oklahoma blog count? Well, you're going to have to wait till the end of the podcast to find out. Or you can visit blogoklahoma.com right now if you really want to spoil things. <laughs> so, for the rest of the time, I did some much-needed code updates to the uh, Blog Oklahoma family of websites. I tweaked the front pages of the Blog Oklahoma and Blog Oklahoma podcast websites. They should now provide a bit more information than they once did. I also reorganized the podcast website a little bit. I no longer have all those sub-podcasts listed. Um, I just wasn't updating them anymore. So I have refocused the site on exclusively the Blog Oklahoma podcast. Um, I've moved everything else over into the archives, so everything's still listed. Um, if you would like to uh, visit the Blog Oklahoma family of websites, at the uh, top right of each of these sites is a small 3x3 three three square grid. <laughs> if you click on that, you'll see a list of all the Blog Oklahoma network of sites. Uh, that's the Blog Oklahoma, the web ring at blogoklahoma.com, the Blog Oklahoma podcast at blogoklahoma.net, Exploring Oklahoma History, my history blog at blogoklahoma.us, 
and the Program Witch pages, my personal blog at ProgramWitch.com. Well, I'm not quite done with all the spring cleaning here at the house. I did get the home office decluttered and all the closets cleaned out. No small task there. <laughs> I got all the air conditioners cleaned and ready to put back into the windows. I finally mowed the backyard for the first time this spring. Wow, those weeds just took off. They were ankle high in no time. In fact, I think I got to go mow again already. And the last thing I need to do is dust all of the high places in the house and then vacuum up all those dust bunnies and accumulated cat hair. <sighs> Joy. <laughs> so how was your march? Did I miss anything? This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is, How do you go about spring cleaning? I look forward to reading it. Bonus points if you write about how to handle cat hair. <laughs> Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are the top five things I still need to dust because I'm the only one that can reach them. <laughs> Number five, the top of the refrigerator. Number four, along the top of the cabinets in the kitchen. Number three, all the family pictures and artwork hanging on our walls. Number two, on top of every curtain rod. And the number one thing I still need to dust because I'm the only one that could reach them. All the ceiling fans. I'm still looking for ways to improve and grow the Blog Oklahoma podcast, and I really could use your help. I need your input. So if you would, please head on over to blogoklahoma.net slash feedback and fill out a short questionnaire about the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm not looking for any demographic or personal information, just your thoughts on the podcast. It'll really help me out. I want to improve this podcast considerably. I want to grow this podcast, and I need your help to do it. So please share your input at blogoklahoma.net slash feedback. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, tote bag, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There is now well over 20 hours of music for you to enjoy. I have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of April 2nd, 2017, Blog Oklahoma has 712 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.